aircraft. What has changed in the last 40 years for the Indian space sector? What would be the physical and mental problems that Gaganyaan astronauts would face in space? And what does all this training include when one trains as an astronaut? I ask my guests tonight on the broadcast. I'm joined by Mr. Suresh Naik, former group director of ISRO, and Shantanu. He is an astronomer and space communicator. Good evening. Namaskar to both of you. I'd like to start with you, uh, Mr. Suresh Nayak, four astronauts, four men who have been introduced to the world today by Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Uh, finally, we have, uh, you know, that suspense has now been resolved, has been, is now seen that these are the four men who will be traveling on Gaganyaan and going into space. How much does it matter to India, this Gaganyaan mission? Yeah, actually, uh, I must say that, you know, Gaganyaan, Gaganyaan mission is a very crucial step in India's space exploration uh, endeavor because the first time India is, uh, uh, you know, conducting a mission where human space flight will take place. Human sp space flight is uh, entirely different compared to the non-human space flight, normal satellite launchings. In the way that uh, since uh, human life is involved here, the extreme safety requirements and reliability requirements uh, are, they become more important. Like uh, people flying in an aeroplane, aeroplane reliability is very, very high. So here also, uh, the first and uh, prior importance is given to the safety of the human astronauts. Uh, in any case, uh, in any stage of the flight, so for that purpose, uh, there were many uh, provisions have been included, uh, like a pad abort test uh, is here. In after the astronauts sit in the uh, you know crew model, and if uh, something wrong is going to take place, the alert is sounded, and uh, the crew model gets detached and taken to a, a safe distance. So thus the crew uh, life is safe. Mm. Similarly. During the flight, if yeah. something goes wrong or something is about to go wrong, the crew module will get detached and again that escape system will take them to a safety. Similarly, another thing is okay. uh, basically uh, the uh, human rating of the complete rocket. You see, for example, recently a cryogenic engine firing test was conducted. Uh, it's a firing uh, whether whether it works, combustion takes place properly in vacuum because the vacuum is the right. condition in space. So that has to be simulated. So all the tests were successfully yeah. done. Similarly, so lots of uh, technicalities can, uh, that need to be considered, Mr. Nayak.